All right, people, we have the uh, factory heat block. This was a heat brake that I installed a few weeks back. has a uh, large size Teflon liner, which is the same as the Bowden tube, you know, very stock, uh, very stock Teflon tube. And it does have a small opening on this side. I'm going to change my heater block out. That one's aluminum. I have a solid copper uh, plated one here. And the holes do seem to be the exact same. I'll verify that. But the only thing I need on uh, this one here is longer screws. Because they drilled their holes way into the bottom of this heat block. Don't know why they did that, but that's what they did. So, this one's getting in a copper heat block. So, AliExpress, I don't know, this was ordered uh, quite a while ago. About 10, 12 days ago. This is what they sent me. Ordered a few. So, here's a heat break with a... Uh, you put your own liner in here. Has a small opening, but a little deeper in there. But let's check. Gotta remember which one's which here. I know this is not my crombered out, but so this is the one I've been using. This is the new one. I changed that. I had, you know, I had blockages just like you people did. Except I got very tired with it. And I happen to have one in stock. I don't know where I got it from. This one looks like the same situation. Although this looks like a brass. Oh, this is a, this is an all metal. So we got a brass with an all metal hot end. This is, a, this will replace that size also. Order two of those. Some of this stuff I usually just keep in stock, you know. Something else comes up. The all metal heat break that they gave me, I don't know, I couldn't even get it apart, you know, be honest with you. When I took my printer apart the first time, I was unscrewing the heat block. The, the threads came off or something like that. It just broke up and. I tried to get the little tube out, and I couldn't, so, you know, that was the end of my all-metal heat break. So, what we got here is a fully lined Teflon, uh, you would cut a piece of tubing that whole length, and that's, that's that one there. You probably got two of these. That one probably would be a good solution for most people, you know. If you want to get rid of your all metal hot end, uh, what's the point? What's the point of buying this is <laughs> it's another all metal. This one is uh, looks like titanium. Looks like titanium. That's it. That's that's what you gotta say. Looks like titanium. Appears to be. So this is our one that we've been using. These are all. Suitable replacements. Now this is the this is the strange one that I found in this pack. I don't know. I only ordered one of these for some reason. I thought I did order two. I have to go back and take a look see. But this one here, can they give me this? And that actually installs in here. So you have like almost like this whole Teflon assembly, and in the end. Ah, uh, it would be good if you had to have any problems with that. And that's a shallow uh, hole for your filament. I don't know why they did this, to be honest with you. I don't really know the point of that, but there it is. It was available, so. <sighs> Spend my money so you guys don't have to. So this is a full... Uh, Full length, full size tube. Again, we'll put that one over there. Uh, what else we got here? This one looks, appears to be different. 
has like a has a divide right there. A little divide line. I don't know what that's about. This one has uh, very similar to the original one I well uh, the one I have been using has a uh, full size Bowden type tube which I think is two millimeter inside four on the outside and then it has a uh, shallow depth for the um, filament to go in so this will probably be an exact match to that one there. Uh -huh. So, I don't know, they had like four options available. I did buy them all. This is another one of those uh, with that little, that little break in there. I don't, I don't know what the difference is on this. But it has a Teflon liner. So, this, these ones here are all set. You know, they're pretty much ready to go. You don't have to cut your own tubing. I don't have any problems cutting my own tubing. I usually leave it sticking out just a little tiny bit. And we got an all metal again. These all metals, the reason I ordered these ones as opposed to the one that came with the printer, these are all machined out of the same piece of metal. So, you know, it's not going to come apart. They have a bi-metal heat break, which is similar to that brass and, uh, I don't know, titanium, whatever, whatever it is. But these are all machined out of the same piece of metal, so it will never come into two pieces. That's that's like I said, I had that problem with that machine. That's why that's why I ended up with uh, Teflon lined. So we got this oddball one. We got the full Teflon tube from end to end. We have the all metals, a buy all metal, and then you have. <laughs> Teflon lined from the factory. And this one here, let's see what we got here. Uh, this is a Teflon line, but looks to be very minor Teflon. This is probably like, I don't know, maybe two inside and one more outside. So that might be a a two and three as opposed to a larger one like this one here so you see the teflon is a little bit beefier on this one these ones are probably ones i prefer to be honest with you i don't really have this teflon tubing in stock i do have some of it looks like they gave you a little tiny piece there so that's where we are, people. You got your small Teflon tube. You got your large Teflon tube. You got your all metal, all one piece. You got your bi metal. All. <laughs> actually, what is this? Let's go. Yeah, that one actually, maybe that, maybe this fell out of there. I don't know. That looks like it takes a tube. This is all metal. I don't know. Confused now. I'm so confused. This one, this is the all metal out of one piece. So, if you're gonna go with all metal, all one piece, I think that's the way you should go. This bi metal crap, I don't know. What's the point if it doesn't last? And then you got your full size, full length Teflon tube. These probably are a very good option, also. Um, I don't know what the heat dissipation is, but you know, you're pushing. And then we got this little oddball here, guy. Don't know what that's about, but <sighs> keep it in stock. Uh, I'm gonna change this upgrade uh, fan thing here. So we got those parts. We got the solid copper block. Gonna find some longer screws, which this is what the screws look like. Very tiny uh, M3. That looks like an M38. Probably got to go with an M3 uh, 12 or 15, something like that. And then we got our regular nozzles. We're not going to play with that. I'll put it in a 0.6 or something. All right, people. I don't know. I spent about uh, $35 here for you guys to get educated. Take care. Happy printing.